form that we'll go over, we'll save this one for last, is the utility acknowledgement. But before that, let me make sure that you have my business card, okay? And you'll see that I'm a customer care representative. I deal with warranty information for the home, and I do the new home orientations. I've walked every home in Paloma mm -hmm. from the first phase all the way down Is the street and made our way down. That's a lot. <laughs> it was an amazing thing to see where this was all just flattened dirt mm -hmm. and turned into a community with homes and experiences for people and happy families. So I'm glad to be just a small part of that or any part of it at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as part of the warranty, here we have a website TryPointLive.com. You're going to see this a lot. You will be emailed it after close of escrow. Okay. Likely to this is this the Minerva? Is how do you your last name? Giwa. Giwa. Like Victoria. Giwa. Okay. Uh, Likely Giva. it's going to go to this email. If that's the one you've been using with sales and uh -huh. giving. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Okay. And you will have a username and password, but the username will be your email. Okay. And the password will be Paloma149. No capitals, no space. Okay. It's meant to be real simple because for 10 years, you may be using that to be able to submit service requests. Now, let me kind of separate the idea. One year covers just about everything that you see in the house, labor and parts from a manufactured defect or something installed improperly. But going on past that for up to 10 years are certain things that are very important like water intrusion, a busted water pipe in the wall, okay? One that happens to leak, not somebody that drills through it, hanging up a, a big mirror, but something that says a defective burst is covered for 10 years, okay? Your roof shouldn't leak, covered for 10 years. Your concrete foundation should hold up, your framing should hold up. So this is the easy way to remember it. And remember, keep in mind on that website, you'll have full access to your warranty. All I want to do mm -hmm. is help you know the difference between the first year warranty and what you can see on the surface, okay? Mm -hmm. And the 10-year warranty and what you cannot see, the pipes in the wall, the framing in the wall, the concrete foundation, the roof, the structural elements. So for the air conditioning, what, what, what is that? Like? So air conditioning is a, a functional items covered one year labor in parts, okay? Uh -huh. So there are certain parts of the air conditioner, kind of like a refrigerator, the compressor is covered for sometimes 10 years. An air conditioner compressor, I believe, is covered for five years. And... The company that installed, which is True Air, if you ever have problems a few years up the road, you can always let the builder know, and we'll give you the phone number of the company that installed everything so they can come out because it's very possible maybe that a part is covered and then you would just pay labor. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's a good question. So keep those questions coming as far as okay. warranty. Any other questions? Uh, also, this one's on the... Appliances? Yeah, appliance. One year. One year, labor and parts? Exactly. And we're going to talk about that and elaborate a little bit more when we get to the warranty instructions too. So I'm going to make sure I, I talk about appliances mm -hmm. more for you. Okay. So I'm here Monday through Friday, 7 to 4. If something happens after hours on that little blue, dark blue sticker, mm -hmm. there's an after hours emergency mm -hmm. number. You're going to see it on other forms that I'm going to give you mm -hmm. to as well. And on that email you get after close of escrow for the TriPoint Live website. Okay. So emergency, for example, a leak, mm -hmm. right? Like pipe in the wall, not a drip in the sink, but something that can cause damage is something we want to make sure that we treat as an emergency for you. Okay. So utility acknowledgement, we have power, gas, water, all running right now. We could test everything inside of the house. After close of escrow, we want a homeowner to be able to transfer the utilities to their name because after about three business days after close of escrow, the utility companies, if nothing is transferred, say, to the new homeowner's name, may cut the utilities in the home. Okay. <laughs> so I think Gary might have given you the yeah, utility yeah, yeah. list. So can we call them right now? We can call them, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. You can contact them. You can give them... Um, for example, I think your closed vesco will be on a Monday. Mm -hmm. You can set it up for a Tuesday so that the transfer begins on the Tuesday for you. Okay. Usually as part of that, this is on hold right now because Amazon, who does work for many builders, Toll Brothers, yeah. they suspended in-home service yeah, I saw that. because of the pandemic. And they bring the ring doorbell and install it and help you hook up other things. So we ask homeowners for patience and that it affects us 
all and the delay when they start up resuming business, which we're waiting on hearing word any day now. They're going to start with the homes that were backlogged in March, and that's the, so when they start, stop, and make their way to the current homes. Mm -hmm. So I know it's going to be something to have some patience. So we don't, uh, so we're going to follow up and they're going to, so, we have to follow up or because so, I just saw the website that they're closed. True. What we're planning on doing is contacting homeowners and letting them know that it's time to be able to go to this website and schedule their smart home activation. Okay. So normally what would have happened is you would have contacted Spectrum or AT&T and you would have set up your internet. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you knew that date, you would go to this website, log in with your regular Amazon username and password, and you would have scheduled an in-home activation of your smart home features. And we're going to talk about those as we walk through your home. Mm -hmm. And right now, you can't schedule it online. It won't let you because they've suspended Yeah, I'm sorry. So I apologize about the inconvenience of that, guys. Uh, hopefully, life starts getting back to normal. I pray so. And we can get past all this. Okay. Questions? No. Okay, so just a quick summary, and again, we're going to go through it. Usually, ring Amazon will bring with them the ring doorbell. A Wi-Fi system for the smart home features. You could still have your Wi-Fi for your home, as you should. They will help you hook up your smart switches, as you have two switches in the home that are capable of being controlled with your smart devices and they help you set that up. They're already installed, but they help you set up the app. An Echo device, like Alexa, they bring with them and they hook it up for you too and they help you with your garage door opener. So they is, bring that? They That's do. included, yeah. They do. So how many of these? One. One. Oh. And if you want to add more in your network, you can. They're going to install the standard package, one ring doorbell, one Alexa device. Okay. Usually now it's a rectangular unit with an LCD screen on it. Okay, you can see a picture. You can say, Alexa, show me the front door. I'll tap into the ring camera and show you who's at the front door. And other things you could do with it too. The thermostat is a smart thermostat. Temporarily, you'll be using the manual features unless you decide to be able to set it up yourself. But most people wait because they integrate things into mostly into one app at least for a few items and then other things are separate so that's but this is already installed but this the smart is already phone. installed okay. we're going to see that upstairs and teach you how to use it manually in the meantime it's real simple for manual use okay so of course this you'll be able to take back with you too yep. for the utility acknowledgement to transfer utilities by the close of escrow if you be so kind just a sign right there So does he have